times 10 to the power of 5 times n, n is 5 times 10 to the power of 2, right? Yeah. 7. Actually, 7. So for this one, right, is number times number, power times power. Okay? So number times number, switch place, not move over, huh? switch place. Okay, can you see, if you use your calculator, this one will give you what? Can you give me the answer? Sixteen, good. Times. This one is, they have the same base, right? Yeah. Multiply same base. So what happened? To the power? Plus, Plus correct. So therefore, it will be 16 times 10 to the power 12. But 16 is not, so I say the number here must be in what range? Bigger than 0 to less than 10, right? So can you see this one is 16? Yes. So you need to make it 1.6. So you reduce this by, reduce it by 1, right? So your power need to increase by 1 to compensate. You understand? You understand? This one, you reduce by 10. So your power need to increase by 10. Or you, no, your power must be increased by 1 to compensate the shortfall. Okay? Then for the divide, similar approach. Number divided by number. 3.2. Can you close your this so that you can see? Number divided by number. Power divided by power. So can you help me out with this? Sixteen over twenty five. Three point two divided by five. Give me a decimal number. Zero point six four. Zero point six four times. So over here is divide. Same base divide. What happened to the power? Minus. Minus. So five minus seven is negative two, right? Mm. Okay, good. So like I say. The A must be in this range, so I need to increase, right? Yeah. I increase it to 6.4. So my number increased by 10. My power need to reduce by. So the number here increased by 10. Huh? So the power must reduce by 1 to compensate. So 10 minus 2 reduced by 1 minus 3 is the answer. Are you clear? Are you clear? So whenever your number reduced by 10, power increased by 1. Number increased by 10, power reduced by 1 to compensate, to balance. You understand? You understand? That's how you balance. So that's how you, how you do it. Okay?